Hi everyone. Welcome to Ingenious Puffins. I am Aritra. So let us introduce ourselves. We are not a micro brand. We are a bunch of watch enthusiasts who took a bold step and completed our first project. So this is a project watch. We named it Lady Kenny. Let me walk you through it. Lady Kenny is a famous sweet in eastern part of India, especially in Calcutta, and it's been loved for more than a century. But why did we name our watch on a sweet? There's a history behind that. So Lady Kenny was uh, invented by a notable sweet shop that is uh, more than one and a half century old. It's called Bhimnag. Back then. Uh, Calcutta was the capital of India and it was occupied by British. The wife of Viceroy, Lady Canning, she uh, ordered a suit from that shop on her birthday. So they came up with a new suit. It's a, a sweet syrupy cottage a ball of cottage cheese and uh, they named it on her. It was named as Lady Canning. But you know, with the local dialect and over the time, that got turned into Lady Kenny. So now you you can find that uh, sweet everywhere in Calcutta, but they are called Lady Kenny. So there was uh, two gentlemen, Thomas Cook and uh, Charles Kelvy. In eighteen fifty eight, they have founded jewelry at a watch shop named Cook and Kelvy. They were the first Rolex retailer of India. They were very famous for chain fusing clocks, and one day they went for a visit to the viceroy's uh, bungalow, and they were suggested to have a look at the sweet shop. They went there, and they saw that it's a it's a small shop with it's very busy. There's a lot of people, but there were no clocks, so they they decided to give them one. Problem was no one in that shop. Could read English, so they come up with an idea. They made a clock that had Bengali numerals written in words. So that was the only clock in the world that had a Swiss machinery, and the clock was assembled in England and had a face with Bengali words as numeral. our pilot project is a commemoration to that particular clock so as a first project uh, we uh, we had made two different versions of this watch one steel and the second one is is also steel but it's coated in pvd black So these are the things that we'll get with the watch. You get one extra strap and a watch hood, along with some documentation. So I'll I'll uh, I'll go through it. So let's talk about the steel first. both the watch has a uh, the dial is same it's a beige dial uh, with a you know fox patina look and the numericals are written in bengal words the 12 is in red and the 11 numerals are in black the hands are uh are are painted black and the second hand is in uh, is in red so it's around uh, 35 mm it's a domed dial with a domed archaic crystal the side of the case is brushed and it's polished on the front uh, the lug to lug is 18 mm uh, it has a non screw down crown and it has a transparent case back the transparent case back has a logo 
of our brand it's ib stands for ingenious boffins and it's also written here as ingenious uh, ingenious boffins and there is a small poetry it's written in bengali it's written as mishti mukhe kola kuli phutbe hashi miti miti if we uh, translate it it comes as a, a sweet hug and a blooming smile the machine inside is a is a hmt 0231 movement it's a 17 jewel hand wound movement and it's polished and uh, well so i'll i'll wind it so it uh, beats at 18000 bits per hour and it's a smooth uh, smooth swing uh so about the dial it's a uh, written lady kenny in bengali on the top and it's written as bharat which is the which which we called india in our you know local language below okay and there is a, a red dot track uh, on the side of the watch and if you if you, you know see it in a and this angle you will see a nice distortion there the the crystal is a archaic crystal and the case back is a mineral glass it's a screw down case back the case back threads were applied uh, uh, with uh, silicon grease for water resistance there is no rated water resistance in this since it's a dress watch uh, it's advised to you know keep away from water the steel version comes fitted with a, a brown leather strap the leather strap has a lot of holes so And it's it's bit long, so it can fit wide, uh, you know, range of wrist size. And uh, uh, it's uh, there are stitches uh, matches. This matches the dial color, and uh, they were waxed. The this particular uh, strap is uh, a crunch bull leather strap or ox leather strap. and it will age with the time it will uh, once you fold it it will give you very nice you know patina or or uh, uh, color variation on the on the strap it's both side uh coated and it feels very nice it's bit thin but but it's sturdy and it's handmade leather you will also get one more strap It's a calfskin saffiano leather strap. It's textured and it will uh it will go as a very nice accessory for a for a, a dress watch. Okay. So so both of the straps are 18 mm. It has unsigned buckle. two loops it has two loops and but this one has only one you know a bit thicker look for a vintage for a vintage vibe so this is the black version it will come fitted with the you know calfskin saffiano leather strap both the straps are handmade the dial is exactly the same uh it will also have a case back uh, that uh, that is transparent you can see the you know the polished hmt movement inside and the case back will also have the same ingenious boffins written there and along with the you know poetry we have in in the steel watch This is also brushed on the side. 
and it's polished on the front. The crown is also black. The buckle is also black. So these are PVD coated black and they will last for long. Uh, what else? The, uh, the hands are same. The dial is same. The crown is black. The, the pin and the buckle is black. You will also get uh, the same you know, crunch leather strap. It will also fitted, be fitted with the black uh, buckle and pin. Uh, so I think that's it about the watch. Uh, you will have option uh, choose uh, option to choose between two different color watch roll so this is the uh, olive green uh, both the watch roll are made with sheep leather so the watch roll will have three pockets each pocket can you know accommodate a 42 to 44 mm watch there are three such pockets there is a flap so you put your watch you fold your watch like this and you can put it here okay you can fold it like this and put it here and then you fold it like this like this and there is a buckle which you can use to fasten it and you get a pretty decent watch roll for your travels you have a loop here to fasten the no? and now you are good to go so it's a it's a you can see it's a thick leather but it's very soft and apart from this three pockets you also have a you know a zipper pocket you want you can put your uh, spring bar tool or some extra spring bars for example you can put a small spring bar tool here if you want to change the strap later on you can uh, you know bring out some spring bars and put inside you know and 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 these zippers are the zipper and the chain is ykk zipper so it's it's built to last and apart from that you will have a pocket inside so you can slip down your you know currency or the documents inside okay so you have another option of a uh, uh, off white leather strap. This is the one. You see, it's made exactly same. You know, on the top, it has a you know, soft suede. The inside lining for both of them is a suede like cloth. It has a very nice feel to it and it will, you know, carry your watch. Okay. So again, you can put three watches here. You can put your other documents or even your coins over here. And you can slip down your documents and your currency over here. Then you fold it. You have the logo. Now you fold it here. You fasten the Fasten it and now you are good to go. You can call it your man purse, you can call it your watch roll, and you just throw it in your bag and you are ready to go. For our first project, we had uh, we have ordered for about 100 pieces. 
which is a very big achievement for us being you know uh, novice in this area and uh, uh, and it was a non profit project we had given almost uh, you know as as much as value if we uh, that we could because uh, this watch this particular watch cost around 50 buck 50 dollar or 30 around 3800 rupees this one cost around 2800 rupees which is even you know less than 40 bucks or it's around 30 to 35 bucks so 35 dollar so you are getting a hand winding 17 jewel movement with a custom dial that that is commemorating a historical watch and well with two handmade leather straps with a watch roll with a proper leather watch roll and oh well the documentation right so this comes with a small booklet it's a project lady kitty it has our logo in 2020 it has a watch specification what's included in the box you get a watch roll you get a watch you get a you get two straps you get a, a visiting card or a ig ib card you get a lady can you booklet which is this one and you you get a personalized thank you note so a sweet hug a blooming smile a heart full of happiness our team this is me devdeep shitish apan and our partners this is ali deepya and vikram we have a history of the lady can this is the clock that we talked about which was made by cook and gallery and this is our journey our various prototypes and these are the patrons who supported us You also get a thank you note. It's a beautiful doodle of Calcutta, and you have a very nice poem. I'll not talk about it. I will read it when you get it, and a thank you note from the team. It's handwritten, so you will get all this with the with the project with the watch that you order. Uh, it's currently sold out we hope to make few more uh, batches if we get enough interest but this not all we'll we are planning to make some you know some amazing watches that we are envisioning uh and well time will tell but stay tuned and will will really be helpful if you could subscribe to us and give a like to our video support us thank you and have a nice day